Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I got onto bone um not bone bridge for the first match and um I just spawned in my reaver really fast. And this match actually my brother is in and you'll see him in a bit and how I hold back and why he is the reason I lost this match. So thanks a lot for that. Um but Anyways, I used my reaver here real fast. I did not see that tiny reaver over here, but he was no problem because I don't even think he had um, good weapons with it. Then I saw a good sniper over here to kill real fast. No problem, but I didn't see it. This guy, these reavers just jump out of nowhere. I think he just spawned, that's why. That discharge hurt a lot. And also, I realized that with the new update, with the tasks and all that good stuff, the uh, speed for the dinos have been decreased. I have no idea if you guys noticed this, but I most definitely did. And I am not happy about it. At this point, I was freaking out. I'm like, wait, why is the reaver so slow? I haven't played in like um, during, during the week because of school and stuff, but that's my brother, T-Rex Master over there. He just walked by. I was about to kill him, but I didn't because we have a, an agreement of not killing. Which is okay because actually he has a pretty, a really good hanger. He shot at me once here. I shot at him once and it did critical damage apparently. <laughs> of course it did. I had to let him go there. I wasn't about to let him take the beacon, so he didn't. He just walked away. As you can see, I still have the beacon. But I died anyways because of this Edison over here. Um, I did a lot of damage to him, though, so I'm not mad. Uh, my brother, his hangar is, um, he doesn't have a Mega Rex. He has a Scorcher with heavy weapons and a Mantis with heavy weapons, which is really, really good, actually. Um, I want a Mantis with heavy weapons. He got the heavy weapons when it wasn't too expensive. You can see him over there still in his Reaver, alive and well. Um unfortunately which was bad for me but anyways i was over here i don't know why i hit that i just thought there was like a lot of enemies here when in reality there wasn't and so that was unfortunate i wasted my thing and obviously i said you cannot survive without your resistance in your scarab so that little mistake resulted in my um my scarab being literally wasted so then I quickly ran over to this dude to try and get my resistance from him, and I did, so I was good to go. Instead of targeting the Edison who had resistance, I meanwhile took out that Archon, um, and by the time this dude lost his resistance, so he took some good damage from the poison gas instead of like literally 100 damage. Then I saw the Scorcher coming, so I ran for my life, and I got stepped on. <laughs> I, I tried to go around. I would I should have gone up straight, but I probably would have died because of, of that locust. That locust wasn't, like, bad. As you can see, he started hitting me immediately. So I had to run with my bite, use the discharge, because it did barely anything. And, I yeah, I took him out really fast. Because that locust was before on the other side of the map. But now I think they lost that beacon or something. And he didn't spawn there. Now you can see the Scorcher, he's running around um, the beacon trying to kill me. I think he killed my fellow Reaver friend over there. But then there's another Scorcher that caught his eye, and I took the opportunity to dash away into the bushes. And then I saw the plank over there, and I had to make a choice of either taking out this beacon or the plank. And I decided this was more um, a better choice for my team because we were getting spawn killed. While I was over there having my... T to the time of my life my team was getting spawn killed so yeah I, I had to take one for the team instead of getting a kill i took that now i wanted to sneak into the bushes before he saw and i thought he saw me but he didn't so that was good so i used my bite ability boom boom shotgunning him up plank could never <laughs> use my discharge for this marconi to quickly get him down because marconis have i feel like have gotten a buff or my reaver has incredibly died and got in a nerf because they do extreme damage now and so do locusts which i'm happy about because i have a locust and i was kind of giving up on it so i had to get out of this um, marconi's range but that didn't happen in time because he hit me too many times 
As you can see, he did so much damage. It's so aggravating. So I spawned in my big guns because there was like a lot of scorchers here. My That's my brother over there all the way on the left. Yeah, I accidentally stomped on him. I really tried to miss, but I didn't. But he's walking away there. You can see he could have easily helped these scorchers kill me. But he just walked away so he didn't have to deal with that um, because of our agreement. So I was quickly taking out this scorcher that refused to, do, to die. And I got an assist on it. I'm like, bruh? The Marconi took the kill because he was sniping. But I'm glad that he was helping because otherwise I could have died. I actually probably wouldn't have died, but I would have taken extreme damage, which would have been bad as well. So I, apparently uh, my brother was telling me at this moment that to move away from that area because he had called an airstrike. Yep, he has airstrike on literal, uh, on all his dinos, I'm pretty sure, actually. Well, and so, yeah, he's got a pretty epic hanger. I still have more hanger power than him, so, hey. But anyway, over here, we had to clear up a few things just to keep our beacon over here. Um, there's a mantis, too. I was able to get that good chunk in. That's always a good thing when you... Oh, yeah, that was my brother as well. It's always a good thing when you step on them once and then the ability ends and, like, the all those four arrows come. That means you do... It does an extra chunk of damage when you hit them with that. So that's always a good thing. Now, this Primark has the heavy shotguns and he was ripping me apart. It was so bad. The damage, I was so, like, I was literally dying. And so I finally killed him because I didn't bother shooting him when he had resistance. That's not a good idea. And this Marconi actually caught my attention because they can do serious damage. So I took him out as well as this beacon. And then that dude spawned in again. And this time he got his resistance before I put him down to half health. And he killed me. So Primark, heavy shotguns, not shotguns, machine guns. They can deal a lot of damage. And we were losing really bad right now, so I spawned in my Monarch to clean up all of this mess. So, yeah. I was a little bit worried about this here. This situation was pretty bad. There was an Edison over here, as well as that heavy shotgun Primark. Shotgun, no, machine gun, but he went down real fast without his resistance. As he should, because he's just a Primark. But it, if um, I'm pretty sure if you get good armor and good weapons, that Primark is not half too bad. Especially if you really want to have a Primark in your hangar instead of an Edison or Scarab. Now, you can see that we are definitely losing because of beacons and about the number of people we have on our team. This Marconi literally tanked a discharge from an Edison plus a tail swipe. Now, I was very confused. I'm like, did a Marconi get a buff? I'm not sure if they did. I'm pretty sure. Honestly, I am probably... It's probably happened. They probably got a buff. I'm just not aware of it. But they are definitely on the top now of the snipers. Now, I am doing the work of going around in my Monarch and killing beacons as well as capping them. This is not work that a Monarch is supposed to do. And you can tell that it's not helping us because... I'm the only one doing it. And the only I would have gone over to that mantis and killed it if it wasn't my brother. Since it was my brother, I'm not allowed to kill him. So I was I was like, what do I do? I was tempted, very tempted to just rip up our treaty and kill him cuz I easily could have cuz you can see there he only has like very less HP, few shots and he'd probably be dead. But <sighs> Because of the thing, I had to leave him be. So I told him to get out of here. So I took that beacon. And then there was this reaver that I thought, okay, I can kill this guy because he's not my brother. But he was being so annoying. I went around this end. He ran around the other way. I came around this way. He ran around the other way. I went around that way. He ran around the other way. <sighs> way. <sighs> so yeah, I gave up on killing him because we were wasting time. And that sucks. I was very mad though. I wanted to kill him. So I'm like, maybe I can kill him. And he didn't die. So then I just went for the beacon because I saw we were running out of time. 
and we needed beacons. We had all the beacons, which was the problem. I couldn't take any more if I wanted to. Killing this dude would help our points, but it wouldn't give us... No, it could have given us enough, but he, this dude wasn't coming near me. And I had to leave my brother alone because it my brother. So we lost that match, but I still got MVP. <laughs> Yeah, but it wasn't half bad since I still got all the good rewards that I usually do. And I still got crowns. So we moved on to the second match on Bone Pit this time. This time it's Bone Pit, not last time. And I spawned in my reaver as usual, capped those beacons really fast. On Bone Pit, I always go straight to mid. Like, zero hesitation, I go to mid. I honestly, the only reason I might turn back is because a Scorcher Mantis or... Um, Mega T-Rex is coming for it as well, but this time I thought it was a plank that was coming here and it wasn't It's actually an Edison which I should have and I could have taken on But I didn't because I got scared and guess what two Edisons came So I just did a lot of damage to this dude and I saw a Reaver that I could kill and he ran away Before I could but it's okay. I did a good chunk of that Edison and that Reaver so it wasn't a wasted effort now I spawned my um, Locust and the Scarab, but then I thought Reaver would be better to go quickly over to the enemy team, which is a play that I love to do. They might think they're winning because they have mid, but if I sneak around here all the way to um, E, I think that is, yeah, E and take it, then that'll give us the upper hand. Now this is also a heavy shotgun thing, and I baited his ability and took a chomp out of this dude. Easy. That was... The most beautiful beautiful play I've ever seen. Baited his tail swipe, no resistance. And then I shotgunned him up and beat him at his own game. Now I was tangoing with snipers here, which was not a good idea. I did not expect there to be this many people. And then a plank came. And the OP Marconi demolished me, which was unfortunate. But as I was tangoing with these people, I spared my team of a few snipers, which got them the upper hand for this. So teamwork wakes the dream war, and we were already winning this pretty good. Sorry about this, this happens sometimes, I don't know why. Anyways, <laughs> um, so then I just went over here with my Scarab, you know, the very good beacon capper that it is. Quickly laid a few smoke um, fumes on the each panel, and I took it out. Now this Reaver, I thought he was going to come at me, and I really wanted him to so I could gain that resistance. But he left immediately. I don't think he wanted to deal with that. And yeah, we were pr pretty much winning at this point. There was nothing they could do to really turn around the match. But they did put up a good fight a little bit later. I thought that was an enemy and it scared me so bad. Because if a heavy shotgun reaver came at my Scarab, I would be so dead right now. So I came over here to get some beacon capping points. Because why not? And then I saw that. The Scorcher with the heavy... um. Um, weapons and the armor kit that's really bad and you can see my de my health is just dying being cut off like a slices of cake just eaten alive so i hit the tail sweep immediately as soon as i got it to get that resistance and finally the scorcher left or got killed i have no idea oh yes it got killed because there was literally so many bigger rexes and then i got tail swiped so that sucks and I tail swipe them, but obviously I'm at super low HP. I am practically a one shot. And I died. But it's okay! Because I did not want to stay in my Scarab any longer. I spawned in my Mantis so that I could just get some Mantis action in. I decided not to go into the battle because I wanted to. Like, you can either do one of, one of two things you can either help your teammate at the brawling battle, or you can hold back hold that um hold back the team at spawn so i chose instead of doing what i usually do which is brawling out in the mid i chose to hold them at spawn and i whipped around and saw the beacon there that was hilarious i was like oh wow we lost the battle that sucks but yeah we lost the battle so i just used my dash ability stomped on a few people to get back over here to mid and all these edisons came chasing after me and that reaver i was like oh wow great wonderful i was taken on by so many things i wanted to hit my discharge right now and i couldn't so i just hit a few things but you know i was getting a little overwhelmed 
I did not put up that dome. I'm pretty sure that Edison did. So, yeah, I'm not that OP. So I just did my best I could, but I was taking a lot of damage at this point because I was getting a little overwhelmed with all these um, things below my feet, all the Primarchs and Edisons, and I died to a Reaver with medium shotguns. Huh. I spawned my Scarab again because that is not half bad if you know how to play it. And I spawned it here because I saw something on the map, uh, on the spawn map here. So then I just hit my thing, hit the discharge, killed him. Easy. I got assist, but whatever. It's fine. That Archon did so much damage in one second. I, if I'd taken a, like, one more shot, it would have done half health. I just got skimmed and it did that much. Not good. I hit the thing before it could even, like, before the Primark could even process what's happening to him. And I was just laying down the smoke um, be around that corner. Little did I know that that Scorcher that just stepped on me was an enemy. That sucks. Yep, it did a lot of damage, but I was still doing okay. I'm alive, and now I'm dead. Never mind. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It was a heavy... Um, oh my gosh, we're losing. Now we're losing. How did we go from winning to losing? As soon as that scor Scorcher saw me spawn there with my Monarch, he did a whole entire 360 and just went around. He's like, nope, I, that's not my battle. I'm not fighting this. Now, there was a problem here. I can go over this ramp, but that would have... That, I, yeah, I thought I went over the ramp for a second. I was like, wait, I don't think I did that. But um, if I had gone over that ramp, I would have probably um, been sniped. There was a lot of snipers over there, which could have done extreme damage. Which is not what I want to take right now with my Monarch. So I turned around and I went for mid instead. So now we're winning again, even though um, we were losing in the beginning. You know, Monarch power. Go Monarch! And that Archon killed itself, practically. It literally went in front of the beacon. When I was just trying to kill the beacon, I killed the Archon. Roar ability, super good for killing those Rexes. Since they are capable of, and since it is capable of slowing them down, that sprint ability then gets slowed down as well, so they don't get to hit you. But the Archon is also still OP, so it killed me. But I have my Locust, which is better at brawling at than, than Archon is, hopefully. I doubted my choice, and then the Archon was dead, so I was like, oh, it worked out. There's another Archon over there, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go over there. And he went in there, and I thought he went back in spawn for a second. I'm like, wait, is he hacking? But he didn't, so it's okay. I used my discharge. I hoped to get the kill, and I did, but not because of the discharge. So I just wasted my discharge. The locust um, fires look so cool. The seekers, like it went, went flying up and then swerved around and dove at the panel. So got some beacon points there, put down my dome. Yeah, my Locust is really OP now because I really loved it. But it's not that powerful without a sniper remote. But I think if I get a good weapons, it'll be okay. So yeah, obviously now we're winning for sure. We have all our team members and they only have one. So yeah, he would have to spawn in a Dominus with like everything OP maxed out in order to win. Which he didn't. He spawned a Reaver. So it was game over and we won easy i got all the good module modules with like rewards and first place mvp and yeah sub